I am the composer and conductor of a symphony. The symphony is composed of four subjects, two on leadership and two on service learning. And my colleagues are the leaders of different sections of the orchestra. I would consider my role as a cellist. In our team, I'm a very organized and meticulous person, so I'm good at handling details and making plans. I play trumpets in the team. Besides supporting other group mates, I also contribute my creativity to the course development and implementation. My role in the team is a pianist. I will support other musical instruments, just like in the team, I will support other junior colleagues. My role is a flutist. I train my junior staff to help them to understand their potentials so they can play the music with their own characteristics. I learned from the subject that teaching is not an individual task that requires the collaboration and support of our group mates. The innovative pedagogy can help students in several ways. We uh, emphasize a lot on uh, reflective learning. That is, we encourage students to reflect. You take a step back to understand what has happened, what you have learned, what you have not learned, and see how you can learn better in future. Besides leadership, we have also learned the power of empathy to providing a service. What would we like to know if we are our targets? So that's the question that any service provider should always bear in mind. Every student can shine and thrive. And we believe that every student has leadership potential. Chemistry can be understood, and like other sciences, sometimes they are too abstract, but chemistry concepts is very easy to understand. He made us the, the group project, and we chose the topic molecular astronomy. Calcium contents can affect the formation of the alginate membrane, and we want to make it more lifelike, so we chose calcium-rich dairy products to do our experiments. And turn out the results were a little different than we expected, but that's the science. Experiential learning is particularly beneficial to my students. I believe that when they are doing a project, they are faced with a real problem, a challenge to them. And in doing the process of the project, they definitely will face with some difficulties and problems. When they are challenged with the problems, they have to work to overcome these problems and to accept the failures. These are all learning processes. Some chemistry experiments that he uses in his lessons, such as making smoke from liquid nitrogen. From Dr. Jason, I've learned how to portray the concept of science to the public and make it more fun and entertaining for everyone. In my lectures, I tend to bring in a lot of demonstration which are related to the lecture contents. So when they see exciting experiments, beautiful chemistry on display, they will actually engage themselves very much with the content of the chemistry and they will remember it. History is about the past. Well, we cannot change the past, but we can offer new interpretation of the past. I use popular culture in history lessons because I believe collective memory is an asset of our past. So when I use popular culture, students can identify with a lot of elements. It can inspire them to think about the different historical issues. History should not be just about victors or king's narratives, but it should also be about people's stories. And I tell my students, every individual story is important, valuable, and worth documenting. History subject is not only uh, about memorizing facts and numbers, but what he expects us to do is to acquire higher order thinking skills. I believe it is very important for students to choose their own topic they're interested in. But also, I think it's very important for students to engage in a meaningful research. In the research, I require my students not only choose an event, but also ask their family members, their friends, their neighbors about their experience of that particular historical event. By doing so, students will have a chance to apply their knowledge of science, but also have a better understanding of the past. Mm -hmm.